What's up guys it's Dani and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to fix the issue where the voiceover gets routed to the iPhone speaker instead of the device speaker when using the stock iOS screen recorder. So stay tuned. Selected. Screen recording. Button. Double tap and hold to show more controls. Actions available. As you can hear, my voiceover works perfectly with the screen recording app at the moment. And I'm recording this video from my iPhone 6 running iOS 12.4. Before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button for more videos. I also want to thank Tony Jones for the music in this video. You can go check out his music on his YouTube channel, Music by Tony Jones from the link in the description. In order for you to make a screen recording, you must first go and enable the screen recorder in the control center settings within the settings app. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Face settings. Double tap to open. Okay, you settings. open settings, settings. And then you scroll down to control center. General. Controls, display, control center, button, selected, settings. Just customize controls. Button. Oh, customize controls. It's totally at the bottom. Customize controls. You can hear button. that. Select control center, back button, customize, add and organize additional controls to appear in control center. Okay, the first features is those that is already on the control center include heading flashlight reorder flashlight timer reorder timer magnifier reorder magnifier scan qr code reorder scan qr code screen recording reorder screen recording voice memos reorder voice memos but more controls heading okay here's some of the apps that is not included so if you don't have the voice recorder app enabled it will appear on the list below just a suggestion that you can put the screen recorder app at the first or the fifth option in the list uh, that will put the screen recorder at the first place at the left or right below the first app or feature right below it also on the left so i already have it enabled so now i'm gonna head over back to the control center customize heading or control center flashlight switch selected screen a further feature that you must enable is to turn on the microphone that you can do by force touching or 3D touching on the um, voice recorder app or you can swipe up and do more controls or you can just double tap and hold on the voice recorder selected screen open controls My stop microphone on switch button on microphone is already on because I'm recording this video with my screen recorder and that option is also the last one on the list. So now you are ready to make a screen recording, except for when you're starting the recording for the first time, the voiceover will route to the iPhone speaker. For the purpose of this video, I routed my voiceover back to the iPhone speaker, so you won't be able to hear voiceover on this stage. So if you want to route it to your device speaker, just go to music in the control center and double tap and hold or 3D touch on music. You have to listen like a normal phone call to this. Um, and just a heads up, don't try to use 
headsets because it won't work, it won't route it to the device speaker. So I'm just going to go to my music in control center and double tap and hold on it to open the music options or the playback options. Now you just have to double tap on show playback controls and I just did that because I, for some reason it was by default on show play, playback controls. The first option on the list is iPhone and then the second one you must double tap on is device speaker so go ahead and double tap on that speaker device and you will realize or you will immediately hear it will root to your device speaker just to show you this is the iPhone if I tap on that one it will root it back to the device speaker and I'm just gonna root it back now again speaker device by swiping right speaker device and double tap on the device speaker again so guys that is how you fix this problem I would call it a problem because it wasn't like that when the screen recorder first came out with iOS 11 thanks for watching